Surely, at some point, the bubble is gonna burst. It's hard when you're in the middle of something to really see where the lines are. It's only with hindsight that you can really tell the golden age and when things moved on and when things started to have a lull. But looking at them yourself, you're just kind of stuck in the middle of the excitement that's going on. And I constantly feel that with collecting and with Blu-ray boutique companies. There are warning signs here and there of things that are changing, whether that be for the good or the bad. I'm never too sure. But one thing I know, there is so much choice at the moment and it is almost overwhelming at times. I sometimes wonder, when is the steam going to run out? When are we going to stop discovering fantastic movies, fantastic genres, getting releases that they deserve by companies that put that little bit extra into them, companies that give us those wonderful slipcases that we crave so much. I love being a collector. I love talking about the idea of the golden age of Blu-ray and every time I think we're out of it, I just find myself captivated with the amount of movies, the amount of extras, the treatment, the restorations and the genres of movies that keep being discovered. We're just now we're seeing a resurgence of Asian movies, um, of all the uh, Shaw Brothers movies, of martial arts, of Yun Biao, Jackie Chan, Sammo Hung, those kind of artists are, are finally getting some much loved uh, prominence. Again, they've had it before. You see the, the Policiotche movies starting to move back into the mainstream. You know, you've got Eureka doing their first one with Revolver. Um, at the same time, a Salima movie as the same time you got Violent City from 88 Films, another Salima movie on the same day. There is just a wealth of films coming out and every time I check out another announcement, I, I look at it and I go, I, yeah, 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 that looks great, I, I want that. There is an abundance of stuff still coming out. But like I said, there are warning signs. There is always warning signs uh, within the current climate, the rise in prices, um, the kind of competition between each other uh, for movies. One of the biggest ones, the biggest warning sign I've seen recently was the jump from Criterion of £5 a title. More than 25%, they went from £18 to 23 which is a huge jump. Uh, just as a percentage, that's that's massive and that pretty much prices me out of the Criterion Collection. There may be the odd sale where things are lower priced or the secondary market for me, but at that price, that's a little bit too much. You've still got companies like um, 88 Films releasing brand new titles for 14 99 but prices are moving up elsewhere and that's kind of understandable I suppose in the world we live in prices are going to rise again at some point Arrow uh, their prices have really kind of shot up indicators have pretty much stayed the same Eureka they're creeping up by a pound or two as, as well but nothing as egregious as five pounds per title which is just bonkers but there must be a faith in that there must be a faith that people are going to buy these titles, that they're still going to spend money. Criterion Collection is the granddaddy of the boutique labels. The one that kind of started it all, the one that set the, the same marker for them. And they have a lot of prestige. But is it enough to get through the hiccup of putting this much money on the titles? Is it a case of the boutiques cannibalising each other so much that the licences are now being inflated in value and costing more to do. I'm always curious about the facets that can change and alter my movie collecting, but there are companies out there, like I said, 88 Films, 101 Films, who just don't seem to um, move their prices whatsoever. Indicator, although 88 Films do have the odd special edition, which does jump up the price a fair bit. But I, I am constantly surprised by the quality or the, the, the pedigree behind these films. Movies that seem almost forgotten. Movies that are still now just seeing their first ever release on Blu-ray or physical media. 
as a film fan, there is a wealth of stuff to choose. And is that bubble going to burst anytime soon? I, I hope not. I hope we are still climbing to watch it towards the apex of this mountain. And I hope we never get there. I hope it's just continues to keep releasing wonderful title after wonderful title. I hope we never run dry. Uh, I, I doubt it's ever going to happen that way. But at the moment, I am loving being a collector. I am loving the titles. The only hindrance about it, the only down point, is the time to watch everything that I'm getting. But I had a little hiccup a few weeks ago with my watch pile. But I just dived right into these films and enjoyed just found so many movies that I loved one after another. I am very happy um, with the amount of titles that are coming out at the moment. I wish I had four more finances to buy them all. But yeah, what do you think of the state of collecting at the moment? I would love to know whether you think it's, it's on the way out, it's sticking around for a long while, whether you think the prices are becoming too extravagant for the average person. Whether just the cost of living is going to prohibit being able to get things that you want. I think the limited edition blueprint has almost, well, in my eyes, fading away. It's not become a necessity on many titles now. There are some where I will watch, but then there are some where I'm just happy to wait as well. But hey. I want to know your opinion. I want to have that conversation about the state of collecting, the state of physical media these days. Of course, drop me a comment in the comment box below. And if you haven't done so, hit that like button. It really helps. Share the video so more people can hear my dulcet Scottish tones and maybe subscribe to the channel as well. And if you want to go a little bit further, in the description box below, there is links to the Patreon or the membership channel program where you can join me and help out a little bit financially for as little as 99p a month you could become a patron or a member which would be fantastic and that would be amazing thanks for watching we'll see you next time man v film